So this is all it took to get that little spot removed on my A group. Uh, it feels nice, nice transition there. And it probably took about 12 or 15 passes, but I had it set, my plane was set really light. But I'm very happy with that. That'll, that'll never be noticed. Once everything gets rounded over, it's perfect blend. Now here's the dry fit on the long table. Looks good. So you, the carpet coming down on the sides will cover that little gap there. So I'm not too concerned about that. But uh, the method to get this done turned out to be pretty good. And the reveal is nice and consistent. I guess I shouldn't call that a footboard. It's a or a skirt board. It's a footrest when you're standing at the table. Put your foot up here. Okay, I'll get the other one dry fitted. And then I'll work on those uh, roundovers. Alright, I'm getting ready to glue these up. And I thought that uh, by keeping these drops and putting some sandpaper on them, I could get uh, some pressure on these, but Maybe I still can. Yeah, maybe I still can if I cut this corner off and come at it a different way. Well, at any rate, I've got it clamped up in two spots here. Uh, I clamp the back here first. This is the this is the drop out of this piece up here. So that's the exact spacing I need. And then uh, when I put the pressure on this clamp, uh, that seems to draw it pretty tight together. It's it's pretty good. One thing I will point out is that when I was putting the bevel on, I left this area right here you can see this little knob uh, because I did not want any blowout so I've got a knob back here as well and I'll just blend that in with a hand plane and some sandpaper so that uh, when I do that I know this will this these fibers will be supported by this piece and these will be supported by this piece so I think I'm ready to go here all right, the glue up went pretty good. I did not. I decided not to use these at all. These drops. Um, it came together pretty nicely. The only thing I've got here is some blue tape where this curved piece, you know, feathers out. And with the glue on there, these little pieces want to, you know, kind of lift. So I've got those taped down and held in place. Um, got the glue wiped off on both sides here. And it looks like a pretty nice joint, so I'm happy with this one. I will uh, get this one off of here, set aside, and do the other one. Then uh, come back uh, probably tomorrow sometime. I'll let these I'll let these sit overnight because I don't want to stress these joints at all. And then uh, see how they look. And the second one glued up just as nicely as the first. Again, I taped down these these transitions into the around into the flat here. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Clamps are off, and I'm very pleased with the way this one turned out. Uh, hope the other one turns out the same. This is laying nice and flat. And uh, a 
I've got some sanding to do, and I've, I've, I can take these drops, put the, and I put sandpaper in here to, um, to use them as clamping calls, but I never did. But they will work excellent for uh, sanding this this uh, end grain here. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll keep these and basically use them as sanding sanding blocks. So I need to take care of these nubs here. Two of them, there'll be two on each. Let me see if I can get this pivoted around. So get a little better look at what I'm seeing here. So yeah, right here. Take and knock this off. I'll use a hand plane to do that. Got a little glue gap there, but I'll fill that as well. And really, I don't think that that's going to matter all that much for the situation this is going into. Let me get this out here, clamp it down, and go to work. In real time, that didn't take any time at all. Just some little feathering here to get these two lines to meet up. Right there. Like I say, I'll fill that gap and this is how I'll sand that end grain. It keeps it keeps it uh, keeps it square. And keep it on the table. Get my half sheet sander out, put a nice sand on the top. I'm not going to worry about the bottom so much. I will hit it, but uh, 
maybe only to like a 120 to just take these some of these planer marks off and make sure these edges get or these glue up uh, joints get feathered together that looks really nice so uh, and the other thing is these places here where I taped this down they turned out to hold up uh, really really well too so I'll put a little just a little bit of a feather in there and the next thing to do will be to show you how this fits on the uh, on the piece itself so let me take care of this other nub continue working on this and I'll I'll come back when I get it all set to go all right got everything uh, the nubs all cleaned up um, kind of started sanding but I wanted to check the fit and it fits beautifully I really like this thing going together the way it's been going together and then when I put the carpet on here that'll cover these gaps uh, you'll never see that and I can even push it in a little bit when I when I attach it and it's just probably going to be uh, finished nails it doesn't going to take anything too spectacular to hold that other side looks good so essentially this thing is pretty much wrapped up except for the uh, tops and the carpet and staining them <laughs> there's a lot to do yet but uh, what I'll end up doing I think is this will probably be my last shot of this thing let me push this over just a little bit for you there now you can get an idea of how this thing wraps around these these uh, staves yeah. it, it just worked out really nice and it's going to be nice and solid so I'll finish do the finish up with the sanding staining and maybe come back with a little update video um, got a couple of guys that are going to come over and help me with the carpet install and then um, putting the countertops on it and maybe then I'll get one last shot of what the finished product looks like here for you but until then thanks for watching <laughs>